But Beryl came with a tornado. Mm -hmm. She came with a tornado and she came to give us a wake up call. <laughs> Tobago Keys Marine Park. Basically, the, the Tobago Keys are an, they are an archipelago. Yes, you know, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is an archipelago. <laughs> so, the Tobago Keys is an archipelago that's located in the southern Grenadines and it's made up of um, five small islands with um, extensive coral reefs. So, the Keys, they are the Piti Ramo, Piti Bato, Baradal, Pity Tabak and James B. Yeah. And we know over the past years these islands have attracted a lot, a lot of tourists and locals. Yes, because the water is so beautiful and uh, you know just diving, snorkeling in the area. 
you'd see a lot a lot of um, different variety of fish you can swim with the turtles the um, stingrays and all of that so yeah let's see what we're going to see today Guys, I remember I came here um, a few months ago and everything was up and running. Now this is what is left here. Remember barbecue? Hot right about now. Not seeing any <laughs> stingrays. The stones. Oh. What used to be nice sandy beach filled with stones. Oh. Different colors, different shapes. It's pretty. What was a bustling marine park as you can see it's just like any other island the last time i came i swam with the stingrays so now i'm gonna take a dive and see if there's anything under there so this looking at the sea better everything looks dead basically the first time I came here, well, I actually snorkeled here. Yeah, things were vibrant. You were seeing different species of fish. Um, here, I'm going to just say what I saw before I even, you even see it. Because there wasn't much fish around. The stingrays are not there. Didn't see any turtles. The only fish um, I think we sp I spotted was um, what we call the doctor fish. Um, well, this fish, to be honest, I can't remember what it's called. It looked like, um, anyways, yeah, I saw that fish swimming by itself. And uh, there were also some shellfish by themselves. And... Uh, some conch lying on the floor but the turtles there isn't any feed there the mass the mass how do i call it the marsh the mass we just say the mass man 
yeah the seagrass they are more or less dead so not much there to attract turtles or the different fish different species of fish or whatever yes yeah, so i'm praying for a quick recovery of this area yep Wow. Nice corn patch. You guys, we're in my room. Yeah, we just walked up from the house a little bit. And. Yeah, I'm lost for words even though barely would have struck over one month ago. Wow, that person. Demolished. Church. Oh, it's crazy. Beautiful Catholic Church. No more. Oh. Hey guys. Oh guys. Hearing about it and seeing it in photos, other people's videos is different than experiencing it for yourself. Oh, my battery is low, so I'm gonna see how much I can capture. Let me see how many good ones I could count. One, <laughs> two, three. Wait, the complete roof. Oh, four. That one. Oh, that is the um, hard coat. Yes. 
Mm. Boy, I could imagine, boy. Wow. Go, my brother house. My brother had a house up the up there. I see the house there. The brother up there, down below, and everything, you know. That they lift up inside the. Uh. I see the pole on the brother, and that's how Coran go. Yeah. Okay. When he hit the pole, he catch a fire. I mean, this house here. Eh? The one up there. You been a house on top, and up there, the house on top there. There was a house on there. That's why I was wondering when I was I coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was coming on. That's why I was wondering when I was yeah <laughs> 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 I don't know if I'm going to hear you now. 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 Okay. I'm going to hear you now. I'm going to assess the police. I'm going to hear you now. I'm going to hear you now. The police and my house are here. I'm going to hear you now. We have our bakery guys. Walking. Yeah. My cousin, my cousin. Guys, I am lost for words, basically. Yeah. Wish um, I had more battery power. That I could have gone about and chat with a few people. But that's not possible right now. So. Well, just this part where houses used to be. Wow. You? No problem. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can just share your experience. When Barrow passed, I was in my two bedroom house, my husband, myself, and a 87 years old lady. And when Barrow started taking off roofs, mm -hmm. the water was my knee height Ooh. and when my roof went i just watched all my stuff lying in the air oh, wow. all my clothes my stove my fridge my undies everything just blown away okay. i was praying i was praying and crying at that time because my grandchildren was on the other side in a downstairs after it over, I went to see how they are. And when mm. I was calling them up by their name, they said, Granny, here am I. They had to go in someone else's place to shelter. Okay. Because Beryl take the doors, mm -hmm. she take the windows, she takes everything. Okay, and how old are the grandchildren? The baby, one year. Mm. One was six years. <laughs> One was nine. When I call them by name, mm -hmm. he, his mother, his father, they all shelter in a bathroom. Ooh, wow. Everything for them gone. Just a bath and toilet. And the only place for them to shelter mm -hmm. was in the bathroom. No door. Okay. They shelter. And your name is? My name is Lavon Sutherland. Lavon Sutherland. So if um if there's anybody who can help you, you have a phone number that anybody can contact you. They could contact my husband because I lose my cell phone also. Okay. So what is your husband's number? Four nine seven zero eight twenty two. Four nine seven zero eight twenty two. And that my sister, she lose her house roof. Mm hmm 
my mom her house when rain come she have to be sweeping water because water split the the play mm -hmm. and when the rain comes she have to be sweeping water not everybody have roofs First okay couple people have roofs okay so and the the ferry comes in here daily yeah okay hi hi and as you can see the older people they have to go at the y one base for food mm -hmm. and every saturday or friday they will have go and get a little allowance for them to eat okay we out a light well we i see vinlek no vinlek is walking yeah. <laughs> we have no lights mm -hmm. we have some generators but the generators that they give mm -hmm. they will have to give three percent currents oh. from that and they they have gas Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have to send to mainland St. Vincent to get gas. Okay. Wow. And we are crying out for help because we need help. Our school. We have to ship our children like sardines. Mm -hmm. Our school is not in a good condition. Our health center, the roof is half of the roof is gone. Okay. If anyone to take sick on the island, we have to ship them to St. Vincent. The elders, we have to ship some of the elders to St. Vincent for shelter. Okay. Which and well, the shelters in St. Vincent, we don't know how our elders are doing because we are not there. We can we some of us we can leave our home to go to St. Vincent to shelter because thief will come in and break and take our stuff that remain in our house. So we are battling it here. Oh, that's so sad. we want the, the whole world to know that if they could help us in any way they could help us, give us an assistance. Oh. And the uh, the tarpaulin that they give to us is no use because when it is high wind, they rip into and water. And even the tank now, they say that we cannot drink the water from the tanks. The children can't go without water. They give us some bottled water once a week. Some people have children they need diapers, they need pampers, they need baby food and stuff like that. Proper yeah. medication if they are to take sick. That's true. Mosquitoes. We, the mosquitoes are terrible. The thing will come in here to spray the mosquitoes. But after that, in the morning at 4 p.m. I can't sleep. Okay. It is very terrible. We need help. And then the dengue um and is a if threat. If there is a dengue outreach, <coughs> what can we do? Right. Well, um, it was nice meeting you guys. I have to run to catch the boat back over there, but I'm gonna see how I can, yeah, assist. Thank if I get you with anything, I'll call you guys, and I can send it down on the and on the ferry. See, look at our church, the Pentecostal. Yeah. The Catholics, yeah, no everything. way. Everything, everything they gave gone. us for shelter, barrel take them. Yeah, that's sad. Okay, well, yeah, I'll take care. Have a good and day. And I have your number, so I'll reach out to you guys, as, right? As you <laughs> could see, this gentleman, his name is Leonard Frederick. Mm -hmm. That was his house over there. Oh. Barrel take everything. Oh, wow. He has to be sheltering in his city. As you can see, half of his half of it is gone. house is gone. He has to be sheltering there. Yeah. And the people are not feeling comfortable in the shelter. Okay. We want, we want the whole world to know that if they could help us to get back in our home. That's all we need. Our comfort zone is in our home. That's all we need.
I'm lost for words, trust me. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, take it easy and uh, yeah, let's pray that everything works out well and that um, somebody is going to hear this and um, help is going to come. As you can yeah. see, they're still putting on tampons. Yeah. Yesterday we had a little tropical depression and uh, everything oh went through. Oh my god. I can't describe it because the tampoline are just splitting. Okay. Water. We have to be sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. Mosquitoes. No. The no. Well, I must say this is the first time I experience it. Mm -hmm. A hurricane. But I hear people from outer world complaining about hurricane. But Beryl came with a tornado. Mm -hmm. She came with a tornado and she came to give us a wake up call. Because Aye. I can't say that is a hurricane. I have to say she come with a vengeance. Okay. She was an avenger. As you can see that vehicle was parked right here. And it was, it was parked here. Uh -huh. And look at it. Which, you mean this blue yeah. the truck? Okay. We saw a thousand gallon tanks of water lift up. Oh, wow. And go in the sea. Oh, wow. The sea is rich. Mm. The sea, when you go in the sea to bed, you have to be careful because mm. galvanized pieces of roof. Mm. Board, everything. Okay. Mm. Look, look at look at our sweet little Myra. Yeah. You the guys big, are gonna come back. You're gonna be able to build back and build back stronger. The big tamarind. Yeah, I noticed my my friend because every time I come here and I'm going back, I would stop at the tamarind tree. You see? I noticed it, it's gone. It's up yeah. to it. Yeah. Alright, that's so the kind um I'm going to head back over there because yeah. the others going to leave me. So, yeah, I'll take it easy. So, I have your number. All right. Yeah. From Beckway. Oh, my gosh. That was a very um, heartbreaking. Just listening to this lady speak, you can hear the pain in her voice. And I am believing that um, everybody shares, would share her sentiment. Yeah, it's not easy. Being in, in an island and um, the, all the other islands that um, are around you, that are close to you, that if you're sick, that you could have been boated to, are also devastated. Yeah, so I'm heading back to Salt Whistle Bay. The others are gone. <laughs> but I had, to, I had to listen to that lady. I had to listen to her. Yeah. And I'm hoping that if there's anybody who you're looking at this and you can help her, you heard um, the ages of her grandchildren, you can help her, her mom, anybody clothing, anything that you can um, share, you can do so, yeah. Beautiful Salt Whistle Bay. <laughs> can see a lot of the trees, the coconut trees. I've gone, uh, bent over. The bars on the beach are no more those that were on the beachfront. Wow. But nonetheless, the view is still beautiful. The view is still beautiful. I know um, when my husband see the others return and I'm not there, he's worried. <laughs> yeah, but guys, I actually, I couldn't just walk and not listen to that lady. Yeah, I think the people need somebody to listen. They need people that they can speak to. Yeah, it's not easy. I can tell you, um, I went to Hurricane Ivan and I said it over and over and over. And I know what it is like to go without water and without food for a few days, but <laughs> yeah, at least I got rescued. Yeah.